Is there anyone strong enough to challenge this man? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the game room. Yeah, you can see what it is until dawn on the PS4. Here's my copy. It's not in great condition. I picked this one up a while back on eBay. It's off of my PS4 back catalogue list. Games that I must play. It's not in the box. It's still in the machine. Although... At the time of making this video, I finished it. So let's head over and get some quick gameplay, have a chat about it. Yeah, I mean, I finished this. I mean, I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm kind of burning through some of these PS4 titles, really enjoying myself. Always liked the look of this. Again, the nature of the game, it's, um, it's dark. The whole game is dark, so I just captured whatever whenever I could um, yeah uh, relatively short game some people aren't a fan of this this little feature here where you've got to stay still it's one of the best uses of the uh, PS PS4 PS5 controller I like that feature that's pretty good um, yeah some people aren't fans of the kind of episodic nature but me and my missus loved it because you know, you just do one one relatively small chapter at a time, and then you get that recap. Kind of like, I think it was, uh, for me, it was Walking Dead that first kind of introduced that concept. So I don't know the background of this game. Was it originally released online in that format, or was it straight away from the get-go? Was it a full game? Uh, but I do like that. I do like um, certain big narrative story to so have a have that kind of episodic nature you know broken down into manageable chunks chapters and then a little overview because you can get lost you walk away from a game for a few weeks a bit difficult to just drop back in it without a little bit of a reminder a little bit of a background sort of context story so as the game itself it's not perfect by any means um Lots of young people doing the things that young people like to do uh, in a normal sense. I'll say that loosely. Nothing wrong with that. We're all about that. Um, yeah, it's just a kind of schlock horror slash teen classic horror movie, really. That type of genre. Um, very, there seems to be a lot of decision making, different paths and everything else. And when I finished... I hadn't really found a lot of them. Um, I think they're called totems. And I think the various clues and the totems, I think they add they add parts of that puzzle, that video, that complete background video that gives you more information. So I've got the save file, obviously, on there. So I might return and try and unlock more. So there's quite a bit to do. But what really surprised me about this one is... Apart from us, it's quite violent, but it's, it's very much like um, the early Resident Evil games in its control system. So it would have been interesting going back to see how well that was received, because a lot of people, a lot of people do not get on well. I mean, it's cool. They call it now tank controls. Um, you know, some people have that kind of spatial awareness and contextual problem of, you walk from one scene to another, but the direction is relative and follows through with you. I can't explain it, but this game is exactly the same. It has that kind of control system. But for me, never really had a problem navigating with those kind of games, uh, with resi games, that type of thing. So I was quite surprised at that control method. And uh, yeah, it was a positive for me. Some of the decisions I made, I would have liked to have saved certain characters. Um, but there you go. Maybe another playthrough at some moment. It's a manageable game. It's not too long, so that may be a possibility. But I like that one. Another one off the PS4 list. Another one that deserves a place in the collection. Really did. 
Really did enjoy that. And there's no, there's no agenda setting. There's no ideological propaganda shoved in your face like the prior, the prior PS4 game I bloody played. But I played it and I finished it. So guys, take care of yourselves. And uh, as per usual, I'm going to say it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.